Today I'm going to show you how I glaze uh, this piece. Uh, if you uh, see from the camera closer, you see that this was the uh, sodium silicate texture. Uh, you see the crackle texture. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, glaze inside with the salad down. I usually fold the inside of my bowls or not bowls, my tea bowls or cups, I like to have a lighter color so you will be able to see, especially for tea, that you will be able to see the, sea, the uh, tea color. So uh, lighter color, so I will apply celadon inside and maybe up to here, right by the line here, celadon. And then on this uh, portion, the texture, I will apply the uh, black glaze and then wipe it. So the black glaze will go into the uh, texture and when I wipe it, I reveal that the clay body at a higher point will be white, but with the texture black color, so uh, it will show uh, nicely black and white. And the bottom black and this part black too. Okay, so that's my plan. And to be able to wipe up the uh, glaze easily while I'm putting on the wheel, uh, I'd like to show you this, the plastic glass and the uh, spinner. So the combination, uh, you I will be able to hold it in position and while the wheel is spinning, this part is not moving because uh, while I'm uh, pushing it down, the spinner is free, spinning freely. So uh, this part here, I will be easy to uh, wipe it up without uh, pushing it away. If I don't, then uh, this pressure will move the uh, parts away. So that's the uh, one other function for my plastic glass. Okay, two pieces together. Okay, I will show you later on. So first, I'm going to uh, glaze inside. Uh, like I told you, I will apply the uh, celadon glaze. So I always uh, fill it up to uh, be about maybe 90% on the inside of course your hand has to be very steady okay about 90 percent and then it kind of just swirl it around so it's almost getting into uh, 90 percent of the uh, rim and then just pull it out carefully Uh, to prevent the uh, glaze from uh, dripping when you pour out, it can kind of lift. Okay, when you pour in and then it lifts, so the glaze is not uh, easy to uh, drip out. Or well, even if you have a little bit of a drip, uh, I have a little bit drip there, so I can just wipe it off. Okay, put this away, and then um, I can use a sponge, just wipe it off. Or we can wait till uh, the glaze dry. Uh, just carefully scrape it off. Scrape it off. Okay. So that's the uh, inside of the glaze. Right. So. And then um, I told you that I will glaze the uh, black here. And then after I wipe it up, I will probably coat a wax resist right by the line here. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip it in the uh, celadon glaze again later on. But for now, I'm going to apply the uh, black glaze. Uh, before I do that, I usually have this. Um, I'm gonna suck up the uh, black glaze and then just glaze on the inside. That's the uh, black glaze. And for pouring the glaze, if you have uh, a cup or the uh, something that you probably, it's hard to find the right amount. And with this, it's very easy for you to just strip enough amount on the inside. And you don't need to pour it out. 
that's just enough to uh, go around the inside and you don't need to pull it out okay. so that's the uh, black lace and then I'm gonna put it on the wheel uh, by the way this is the uh, uh, we call absorber I showed you in my previous video uh, you can buy it easily from uh, uh, Walmart, I think they have it, or uh, Amazon.com, they also have it. Uh, it's come up with a sheet, and then uh, you can chop, uh, you can use a scissor to cut to the, the right size. And uh, the way you just dip it in the water and squeeze out the most water, so this will create a little bit more friction while you uh, put it on the wheel. So, and then that is harder for that to move around. And then I'm going to center my piece a little bit. Right, so center. And then I'm going to brush. Okay, you can use a brush or you can use uh, also this and slowly uh, drip it along. Uh, this time I'm going to use brush. Okay. Brush the uh, glaze over. And while you are using the brush, make sure that your brush is very uh, thick, have very thick hair, so you can absorb uh, a lot of the uh, glaze. Let's just spin the wheel and... Just brush multiple coat over. And then um, for the, the uh, side of that, I don't want to have too much glaze to, uh, because I'm going to wipe it off anyway. So uh, I will just maybe brush a little bit water over. So when I'm brushing the uh, black glaze, the uh, glaze is not going to be uh, too thick because I'm going to wipe it anyway. So maybe I will brush a little bit. Uh, water over the crackle surface. So black glaze here and this is just lightly brush it over because I have uh, some water or something on it. And then I'm gonna use the uh, sponge to wipe it. Um, to be able to wipe it, uh, I need to have a down pressure. So this plastic glass it's with a lot of uh, a circle on top of it, so it will be very easy for you to find the uh, center. Okay, let's check. Okay, so this is very good. And then put my spinner over. There's a little uh, groove there, so uh, it just fit right in there. Okay, so it's right in the center. And that's how I do, okay? Just hold it down. Double check. Right, so that's on top of it. I'm pushed down so my part doesn't go anywhere while I'm wiping. So it's very easy for me to wipe up 
the place. So you can see the uh, black glaze is going in the texture part. black glaze is going in there um, just wipe up the rim a little bit so I could have the uh, set it down on the rim Put it back on the wheel and then I'm going to center it again. And like I told you that I will call wax resist here. So this is the uh, wax resist. I usually like to put it on the wheel and do that. That way I will have a nice clean line there. So I can just brush the uh, wax resist. So this should be enough to just break it so while I'm dipping uh, the, the uh, set it on glitch doesn't go all the way down here and cover up the uh, my texture so um, but when you are applying the wax resist make sure that you let it dry completely so I will probably let it dry for like 15 minutes to uh, 20 minutes before I dip it in the glaze. It's been drying for a while. So the rim is dry and the wax is dry. And now I'm gonna just dip the, on the rim. Already pour the uh, set it on glaze on a very shallow pan here. So uh, I don't need to uh, use a lot of uh, glaze there. So when I put it in, I don't over, uh, overdone it. So make sure that it's all the way around. Okay. And then slowly lift it up. Mm. Before the glaze dry, you don't need, uh, you don't want to turn it. Okay. So let it glaze absorb by the rim before you turn it. Otherwise, uh, the trim might go back to uh, and then drip it down. So. Just slowly turn it so let the drip come down a bit. Okay, that looks fine. Um, 
So now you see that because of the wax resist, so I will have a very nice clean line there for my set of dunglies. Um, usually, uh, I leave this part without uh, putting the sodium silicate, so this part is smooth, and uh, putting glaze over, um, so when people drink, the, the lip is not uh, feeling very rough, okay? So you have a glaze on the rim, it's better, okay? So that's the whole piece, and uh, I will file it, and then I'll show you the result, okay? So here, I promised to show you the result of the fire after I glaze it. And now it came through the uh, reduction fire. Uh, I fired to cone 11, cone 11 reduction fire. Um, the uh, celadon shows nicely. As you can see on the inside. Um, the outside, I brushed the uh, black glaze and uh, also brush the glaze over the uh, crackle surface and then uh, wipe it. Right, so here's the result. Thanks for watching.